I've got a topic in mind about the the news last week where they're looking at Premier League managers bringing in a rule to make <coughs> so you can only sack within like transfer windows. I saw that. Yeah, what do you think on that? I, th- I think that's a great idea. So they can only get sacked within transfer windows. Mm-hmm. Is that what what they're saying? Yeah, so you can only change your manager in the transfer window. Yeah, I quite like the idea of that because then that that makes it gives managers more chance as well. Mm-hmm. You know, to turn things around. I cool, that would be interesting. That it, there'd, be, like, okay, there'd so be a transfer show on it, Sky. Then. There'd be a different show somewhere else now on the managers. If, <laughs> what colour yeah. would it be? It's <laughs> true. If it was your team. Say, say Southampton come up, Adam. Let's give you that fantasy for a moment. Um, <laughs> say they came That's up. Okay, thanks. Not, not biting. And in, the, in your... When are you going back down to your level? Your 17th, your 16th, <laughs> come to January, wow. your club decides not to change because it, you feel that you've got enough. But by the end of February, you've lost four in a row. And then you've got the rest of the season. Don't remember you getting yeah. Europe two seasons in a row. What? Uh, anyway, um, I moved the conversation on. <laughs> <laughs> lose. Well, lose so you'd, you'd rather? Weekend, did you? Um, uh, Look, if you want to do it I, 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 with Wolves as an example, I was just trying to throw it out to someone else. But it, I, I will say, if Wolves, no, I, were in a I, I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting, and I think. I, my, that's an interesting question, and it, but it, it's it's quite short term. I would a bit what, what David was saying, the knock on effect to that. What does that do for managers? What does that do for the uh, the the salary that a manager gets? Because if you're only going to be able to negotiate, or well, not negotiate, but only come into play during certain windows, certain times of the year, there's going to be more of a scrabble for them they're going to be more of a commodity in that respect than a bit like a player surely it puts them in that sort of bracket a little bit more so um and you do obviously it's it's quite common it's not just a uh, a manager out of a job that gets a new job somewhere you know teams poach managers but I suppose clubs poach what managers I'm, what as I'm well. saying is for clubs like ours th- then if you don't make a change, it could result with you being relegated. And we've seen that before. We've Absolutely. Because you're locked in at that yeah. point. You're locked in with whoever you've got on board. So there are certain points, if you only had it during two so, transfer windows, there are certain points of the season where if you don't make a change, it could be game over. And I'm thinking that February time is is particularly prevalent, isn't it? Because um, there's only so many games as well left to play. I just think if you're if you're teetering, it's it's gonna have a it's gonna have more of a knock on effect to the lower mm. part of the table. That's for sure. So yeah. and then the um, other thing I, is with the, <clears throat> the teams higher up, like your Man Uniteds and your Arsenal's, is for them we've got to recognise as well that it's business and letting a team they might not be in danger of being relegated, but letting a team drop in the way that Chelsea sort of have to sort of levels of 8th, ninth, 10th. Financially, the hit of not making Champions League <coughs> is huge. So we've seen teams towards the top make those changes in order to secure Champions League football. And that's from a business model point of view. I just wonder if it's a bit too romantic for us to think that businesses are, are going to suddenly bow to this because... the. There are huge effects, and I think from a from a coaching yeah. point of view, I'd love to see it. I think managers would be given a bit longer; they'd get that stability. I'm going to throw it out there as well. Would it make more sense that they could only be changes made on international breaks? I wanted to say that. I was thinking okay. that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> transfer windows and international breaks. <laughs> what just for the managers? Yeah. Do do you think if if we, if we if that came in though would would they then start being fees for managers, you know because it's 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 almost like a compensation in it at the moment, do you know what I mean you know sometimes yeah. they, um, they they get comp- but will there ever be a fee for a manager where a club can go and buy a manager? Why isn't there? Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, there's certainly compensation. I, there's a lot of managers that have yeah. made more money in compensation than they have done doing well at their jobs. But you never... Mark Hughes being one of you never hear, them. like, the amount, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not never, but you, you do sometimes, well, but not... Blooming Mark Hughes. I thought, I'm trying to think what it was. Something like he's he's made, like, 60 or 80 million from being sacked from managerial positions yeah. than he has actually just doing the job and, you know, being yeah. successful at it. Um, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what I think is interesting is obviously this season we kind of got a bit of a taste of it in a sense where we know that three of the biggest clubs in the world are going to change their managers at the end of the season. We already know that. But yeah. why haven't they done it? Obviously, it's a little bit different for Liverpool, but like with uh, Munich and Barcelona, for instance, that's because they're not performing as they should be. But why but they wait until the end the of boat, the season then? If you rock the boat too yeah. soon, yeah. they could really drop off. And there's an issue, you know, there's an issue there that you don't have that... Uh, that sort of through line stability you know, stability you know it's a um... I mean it's like with, with oh, Tuchel it... now it's like he knows he's going mm. so it, it, was that like agreed with him or is this just the club saying you're going in the summer <laughs> I don't think that would go down well with me if, I, if I'm honest <laughs> yeah you know while you're still going while you're still in the in the chase for the, for winning the Bundesliga and Champions League. Yeah. It's yeah. a really weird one. You know, unless Tuchel has got, has got some, you know, he's, he's actually said to them that, you know, I find it really weird that, that Bayern would come out and say that they're going to, that he's, he's done at the end of the summer while they're in this I'm situation. I'm stoking fires here, but do you not think there's a, a reason why that all feels weird? Because there have been um, articles that have come out about Tuchel's returning to the Premier League. Do you not think that some business might have already mm. all already been done? Well, we're never going to know the maybe, full but story then and then he and then he and then he's okay with that, isn't he? Yeah, he, he'll be all right with that because he knows that he's going somewhere else. That's what I mean. I just find you know I find it weird that. But we that talk a lot Biden about just said this. We talk a lot about the money and the implications that that has. Um, but, you know, I'd like to think someone like Tuchel is obviously still praying for his pride. Yes, he's got a gap to to try and bridge to get that first place. But as Cal said, you know, he's still in the Champions League. So imagine mm. if you know that <clears throat> you've got a fantastic job lined up in the Premier League. You're going out, but you can go, well, hey, I've gone out on a high. I've made a load of money doing this. And I've got, I, I actually... Proved the doubters yeah. wrong. We did lay buy Leverkusen over, and we got first place. Aren't I brilliant? And you play for that pride as well as the money. And from a player's perspective, would that make a, the players' lives easier rather than if you're midway through a season, all of a sudden there's a change of manager? I know you can um, sort of expect it coming. Yeah, but... I know what you mean. It gives when when a new manager comes in, it gives them a little an extra chance, especially yeah. like the players that are like on the fringes, but. Well, you know, pros I think and cons, surely. If you, if you do go down this, yeah. But if you do, if you go down this, then you know it makes sure that the clubs, like, I don't know, like you know, really do it's their. It's quite unusual to have more than two managers for a club in a season. I know it's happened. Watford and other clubs, you've had well, three managers. Is it? But yeah. But those those are, those are the clubs that are struggling. I don't know what you're gaining. You're by... not going to you're not going to get that with a top half. Club. No, by by not matching the transfer no. window means that you've got two opportunities: end of the season in the summer and January. And I don't think they need a. I, I think if you're going to revolutionise this, then uh, managers need to be in situ for a season. If you want, if you mm. want players to think, right, well, nothing's going to change, so I'm going to have to change what I do because I know that this is going to be the case for this season, then you can't have a get out halfway through because there aren't that many, there aren't many where they change more than once. There are the odd ones in the relegation scraps, but. Yeah. But the thing is they, there are a lot that do change in a season. There are a load that do change. I mean, I saw even with saints, like how many managers had been, uh, sacked and let go in our 25 game unbeaten run it's like yeah. Saints have done this and in this time like seven managers have gone that's, from that's various teams saying, in the championship it's only going to be radically different if you stop that because that's been happening anyway and what's the difference between it happening yeah, but those clubs are dropping like a stone though so they have to they've gone let's try and implement this 
I, there's so many factors in play though. You can mm. say, oh, we've, we've brought in a manager because he plays a particular style of football. But actually, the players that we've got right now don't suit that style of football. So do you get who who gives first the players do you do you give him a season and a couple of transfer windows to to allow him to bring in the players that he wants to try and implement that style or do you go actually this hasn't worked get rid of the manager and get someone in who can work with the players that we've got right now and what about if you only allow him one change <laughs> that's what I, th- I think one change is fine which is basically it's that yeah. that january christmas transfer window so yeah. that and summer i think that's perfect I think that would be very interesting to because you'd have to 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 plan for it better, really, wouldn't you? Mm, yeah. Yeah, but you could have a, that to. change at any stage of the season rather than. But you're only allowed one change of manager per season. It 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 would stop certainly the relegation battles. It would stop the whole. Do we get big salmon? Do we get big salmon with the last uh, yeah. you know two months to go yeah. or whatever it's it is? Getting more and more like FPL. The more that we speak, it's like do I do I play my wild card early or do I hold on? <laughs> do I get another one after the January? It's getting more like PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> FPL winning, by the way. Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, do that, we think it's that, a... that time thing is interesting, isn't it? It's like if you look at the the more the more successful managers in the Premier League, obviously it's different because of the clubs that they're yeah. at. But they all took time to build some. Even Pep took him a season mm-hmm. to yeah. get into something. Yeah, yeah. Arteta, you you know, yeah, you, you're same with him. Didn't take Gary O'Neill yeah. long, though, did it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? And that's fantastic because that's a really interesting. I mean, you could say that the, the, the players that he in, inherited at Wolves worked for his style of football that he wanted to, to implement. Um, but yeah, I think he almost bucks the trend. And that's probably another reason mm. why he should get some sort of plaudits for, for what he's done this season. I mean, yeah. the thing is, even if he gets his play, you know, let's say... I'm sure he will do. He'll stay over the summer and into next season. And let's say he gets some of the players that he wants. Will he take Wolves any higher up the table? I think that's doubtful, personally. I think there's probably a ceiling there. And I think maybe he can go one or two places higher. But with the strength of the the, the, the big six, with Villa, with Newcastle, is there a chance for Europe, a European spot with Wolves? Realistically, probably not. Not that it's out of the question. But I do think what he's done this season with you guys is is really fantastic and should be applauded. Well, Nuno did it as well, didn't he? Uh, But I think, like you said about the ceiling, and I don't know whether there is anyone... Like who, when we talk about the big six, are we saying Newcastle because of all the money that they've had are the, are the side that are breaking in? Because we've never really had anyone Not break yet. in, have we? We've never had anyone go, no. oh, let's... No. These, th- there's certain teams that we know... The established yeah. big six. And actually, yeah. isn't that a mission? Like, is imagine if someone, I mean, I would love it if Wolves could be that team that could in the future just nestle in there through... Hard work, persistence. Oh, but we yeah, all that's would. That's what we all want. But yeah. <laughs> even yeah. Callum would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give us a couple of seasons. We'll be here fighting with wolves. 